I'm going to show making the Fire Tiger in the four inch swim bait, the perch pattern, and I'm going to use mica powders and Createx paint, hand paint it, and then use the powders for all the. I'm going to use Parakeet Green as a chartreuse, and then I've got Tiger Orange and then I've got scarlet red to give it the colors to make it pop. And uh, I've already done the skin pour, so now we're gonna get busy. We're gonna do the hand painting. Like I said, I've already done the skin pours on all these. And I have white, Createx, and transparent black. Just about any black works, uh, brown, whatever color you want the stripes to be on the perch. And you can see I've got right there is a few little dots of white. That's the only reason I'm using white. And some of the pictures I've seen that they've got highlighted scales in the right there around the gills. And this is a parakeet chartreuse green. Then it fades into the yellow for the belly. I did yellow last time, a little bit of scarlet in the throat. This time I'm gonna try the fire tiger orange and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna paint all the stripes and the little dots in the cheeks and uh, then we'll get on to the, uh, the powders. So far I've done a skin pour and I have painted the perch pattern stripes and now I'm gonna use the hair dryer to make sure that paint's dry before we move on to using the powders. Just get you a brush that is fluffy and you can kind of like a makeup brush. This is a paint brush, but you can use a paint brush, uh, makeup brush. And all I do is open it up and put a little bit, get a little bit on my brush and then put it inside the lid and just dab it around, knock it off. And just get a little bit at a time because this stuff a little bit goes a long way i know i've said that before in other videos but it really does it doesn't take much and you can see this has got red in the throat and it shows up a lot so i'm just going to dab it into the throat area blow off the excess and then you can just take your brush and rub it in. We'll do the same thing on this side. Just dab it into the throat area. Need a little more, get a little more. And then you can rub it in like a skin, just rub it in. And you wanna to try to make sure it's the same amount one side's got a little bit more red, so let's put a little bit more red. <sighs> a 
there you go both of them have the red in it so i'm gonna do them in red and we'll grab these and go ahead and do the red in them before i knock off all the red of my brush out of my brush see it. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. And just blow out the excess and then just knock off the rest of my brush and then move on to the next color. Let's move on to the tiger orange. Just load up my brush and then knock it off in the cap. And that way you can just get a little bit as you need it. Because when you dip it into the, the um, container, you get too much. So I always use my the lid to knock it off and get a little bit back until I get just the amount that I want. And so I'm going to do the belly, starting at the, where the red's at. And whatever you don't cover with the powder, it's going to show up the color that you pour behind it. And I use a mud minnow, greenish brown, and it seems to really work. But you can do whatever color you want in the background. So if you don't want to completely cover it up with powder, you can leave a little bit exposed just leave a little bit exposed and then it'll show the color that you want behind it but this stuff right here really does shine it's just ground up glitter pretty much just keep dabbing and get it as much as you want or as little as you want we're doing the tiger orange on the belly all the way down to the tail and I'm rubbing it in like it was skin kind of like a woman's putting on makeup and just keep doing that and I'm not gonna bore y'all with doing these other two and we'll be about right back when I do I'm getting ready to do the green parakeet green and I'm getting a little bit on my brush and I'm dropping it in the lid loading it up so I've already done all the colors the only thing left is the green so if I go too much, it doesn't matter because it, the orange and the red is going to show. This is going to be in the background. You won't see it. And it'll help blend it. I do want to say I got these off of Amazon. Just look up that brand. And let's start dabbing. Putting this on kind of heavy. I really want that chartreuse green to show up. You can kind of rub it in. Treat this skin layer for like it's real skin. pour the plastic, the hot plastic. All right. I think that'll be covered up good. And we'll be right back when I start. All right. Well, I've got that plastic heating up. I've got them on the griddle between 200 and 250 and let them warm up really, really good. 
and then just before I pour the plastic, I'll take a heat gun and I'll blow it inside and not enough to make it melt, but enough to make it sticky. That way when you pour your plastic, it'll stick. If you heat it too much, everything inside here will just droop down to the belly. So you gotta be real careful not to heat it up too much. All right, I got my plastic heated up and stirred up. And we'll hit it with a heat gun to knock all the bubbles down. plastic ready. We'll start in the tail. I've already heated it with a heat gun. Let's pour it all in here. Fill it all the way up. Alright. Plastic's done. And let's pour. Starting in the tail. Pour it all the way in. Just hit it with a heat gun a little bit before you pour it. Get it good and sticky on the inside so it'll all bond. You can actually, after you get it poured, you can actually set the griddle a little hotter, let it sit for just a minute, and then take them, take them off. And I put them directly onto one of these other molds and it helps draw the heat out and then i let it set up to be right back for the reveal. all right it's time for the reveal let's undo mold tail's always sticking the opposite side all right there you go green to tiger orange red in the head you see how the color in the background shows up right there and i did forget to put the little white dots on these but i didn't in the others there we go some people put a little bit of white in the tip of the tail so when the tail's moving it catches their eye i did these without that i think it turned out pretty good Let's see what the other one looks like you got a good bond with the skin pour and pour there's no cold cracking or nothing like that and there you go and you can see that green red orange fire tiger well, I hope you liked the video. A little bit of camera difficulty. Everything was getting heated up. So, these are the ones I poured tonight. And you can see the green, fire tiger orange, red in the head. And I think they're gonna work really, really good. And these are the ones, I've already put eyeballs in them. And they're a little bit darker on the, cause right here I put a little bit of graphite black powder on the very top and it dulled down some of the colors. That's the reason I didn't do it this time. I think I like the, uh, the brighter colors, especially if you're trying to do a fire tiger. That's, that's what these are. All right, if you like the video, 
give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and i'm going to try to do more more patterns and uh here shortly we're going to get into doing gardening because that's uh, what season it is might take a break on doing fishing lures but um i'll do a little bonus pictures at the end with them in the light box so you can get a better look at them so thanks for watching